accident? No. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, is it because you're ready to move on to different friends of benefits or because you just don't want to, you feel ba- guilty? I kind of feel guilty. Well, doesn't it make you feel more guilty that you're still hooking up with the uh, his roommate or his friend? Well, I mean, it happened, so. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to stop that either. You're going mean, to that, keep that going. Is there any future with this guy? Let's call him Tom. Yeah. There, no. So he. So now he's just a friend of benefits then, basically. Yeah, I'm just using him. You're using him? Okay. <laughs> Where are we going to search to find you out a ne- another date? Where, where's the next place we uh, take this? You going to the club this weekend? You going to be on Facebook finding a new a new guy? What, what do you do? How does this um, happen? Well, on Sunday night I went to the cl- I went to Mantis, the club, and like I met this guy that goes my sister, and he's super hot. But like we didn't sleep together or anything. We kind of hung out, and yeah, I don't know. He's kind of weird. He's from Boston. <laughs> He's super high. He's kind of where he's from Boston. So he's a potential a possibility then, right? Maybe. Okay. Um, no, I don't know. Do you want me to hook you up on a date? I got. Oh, we got the, We got a date for you. I got you a guy. What's is your, he cute? How old is he? Yeah, he's cute. He's like about 25. What does he look like? Blonde hair. We, we already talked about him one time. He's kind of a skater look guy, kind of a surfer kind of guy. Blonde hair. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, let's make this happen. What's, just tell me your schedule. I'm not gonna. I, this one I'm gonna take by the, uh, grab the bull by the horns and make this happen. What's your schedule like this week? Well, um, I go to school all week, so I think maybe I'll be good on Saturday. Saturday. Mhm. Saturday. Okay, you're open all day, or oops, my mic just went out. You're open all day. Yeah, Saturday? I'm open. Okay, so if I can arrange y'all to have, I think they have NASCAR going on Saturday. I think they're gonna be busy. But uh, what about Sunday? I might be working on Sunday. I don't know if I'm working or not. Oh, you're working for me Sunday, aren't you? I think so. I'm eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You stood me up for working tonight, didn't you? I was supposed to work today or night or whatever, but I feel like crap. All right, you better really be sick. You you didn't come into the show. Hey, have you seen our new flyer? You're on the new flyer as Marlena Mischief. Have you seen it's it? Gonna be on the flyer. It's on there. I I the, I put the flyer up on my personal Facebook page. That's the old one. I'll put the new one up here when we, when we got the show. I'll put you up there. You're on there though. It's actually a picture of your sister, but it looks just like you. So oh, okay. no, well, that's good. <laughs> no one no one can tell the difference. You ever done that? Yeah. You ever used your sister's picture for anything? Said oh well, I don't I don't have the right kind of picture. I'll just send my sister's over. You ever done that? No, actually, I don't think I have. When you look no. at a picture of you guys, how do you, is there something that can tell the? Is there, is there a way to tell you all apart? Is there something like a mole or something or anything on your face that gives it away? Um, she has more of like a, she doesn't really smile. I kind of smile more, but okay. no. If I took, really if I took ten pictures of you, okay. And ten of your sister, would your mom be able to pick out those perfectly? All ten, ten for ten, about who's who? Yeah. She really would? Mm-hmm. That's that's great. I'd like to test that, but uh if you ever My saw dad a, won't though. Hey, your dad won't? Mm-hmm. Do you ever look at a picture of your sister and think it's you? Have you ever had that happen? Like, oh you thought it was you and it turned out it was not? Um yeah, actually I took a picture one day on my computer. Okay. It, it looks exactly like her. I mean, like, exactly like my And I'm like, that's me? <laughs> like, I just took a picture, but it does not look like me. Huh. All right. Hey, what do you? what is your job going to be? When you get a job in a couple of years, what are you going to be doing for a living? I want to do, uh, like, Botox and lip injections on people. So I guess esthetician. You want to be an esthetician? Are you going to school for that now? Um, no, I'm doing medical assisting first. So you kind of have to go to school first to do, like, something in that field. And then you can work at, like, plastic surgeon's office. And then they'll send you to like somewhere. They'll send you somewhere to like learn how to do all that stuff. Okay. All right. Cool. Hey, what is the name of your hot friend? You sent you sent me over a text about some girl that looks good that wants to start hanging out and doing stuff. What's what's her name? Natalie. Natalie, can you yeah. can you text me a picture of her over? Have you already sent a picture of her by chance? Do what? Have you ever sent a picture of her into me? Have I seen her? Uh, I haven't texted it to you. But I showed you last week. You showed it to me. Yeah. I don't remember what she looks like. Is that uh, what does she do? For, is she in school or she got a job? What's her story? She has like two jobs actually. She wears like bikini something, and then 
brownstone. She's been called to waitress at brownstone. How does she work at biki- like the bikini bar? Or bikini, yeah. bikini, bikinis in Plano or something? Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, why don't you, when we get off the air, why don't you say, yeah, send me a message about her or whatever. Um, that's cool. All right, well, uh, anything else we should know about before we let you go? Anything else going on in the world of Marlena? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> not really? Any word, from, any word from Michael, Andy's son? No, I haven't talked to him. He's At no. All? He's out. He's no go. Okay. All right, so next week, we'll hopefully, you'll have a new love interest, right? Maybe. Another, and we'll have a uh, – that'll be number 17 that we're aware of. And uh, in yeah. the meantime, you'll be hooking up with, let's just say, Tom to kind of take care of you for the week, right? Yeah. Your friends with benefits. Boy, is he aware that you're just using him? Um, yeah, definitely. He's just u- using you also. It's a mutual thing, right? Yeah. All right. How often do you think you're going to call that guy this week? Once, twice? H- how many have we – times? No, no. How many times do you plan on calling him this week? Do you call, plan on calling him every day or once once a week? I mean, what's the – Like once a week. So once a week you, you call him up. In the meantime, are you uh, taking care of yourself quite a bit? What do you mean, taking care of yourself? Well, I mean, you get urges. Do you? Is it easier just to stay home and um, take care of yourself? No, I don't do that. Um, where do Lars go? We just celebrated that's Easter. What I have my, that's what I have those guys for. Is <laughs> once, a week, once a week is not a whole lot, though. For, you know, guys might do it once a day. So once a week is not a whole lot. You're not yeah. using. You don't have. You own some toys or not? Do I? No, I don't. I've never bought those. I'm so against them. I don't like. Them. I just don't like them. Okay. All right. So once we could call this guy up until you find a, another person, a, a better guy, and uh, the guy for the sit down p boy is just totally gone. Right? Are we are we done with him entirely, or will you take his calls eventually? Will you hook back up? But just every once in a while, what's the story? Is is he done? Kaput? Oh, just done. Just done. Okay. <laughs> Most of your lovers, do you uh, just end it and you never talk to them again, or do you keep in contact with the past lovers? Uh, well, my ex-boyfriend, we're still, like, really close friends, really best friends. We, like, talk every day, but we're not, like, hooking up or anything. But other guys, it's the ones I've had, like, links with, I don't talk to ever again. Okay. Kind of awkward. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, well, listen, uh, Marlena, we'll sh- we'll catch you next time. Where are you working Sunday at? Do you know? Uh, I have no idea, actually. I should look. You doing a are you doing a bike wash? Yeah, maybe. Probably the back nine. It's either gonna be the back nine or tailgaters, correct? Yeah. So it's either the back nine or tailgaters. Come out and see uh Marlena Mischief. Oh uh, yeah, Marlena, will you wash my car? If you want, <laughs> if you want to come up. Oh okay. <laughs> Yeah, they wash cars. That's I know, that's why I want, but I want Marlena Mischief to do it. Marlena, hey, do you like your name, Marlena Mischief? Do you dig that? Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling sick right now. I'm having a hard time doing the shows the last couple of days, man. I'm I'm out of it. So uh, I I dig it. We we named the other girl T- Tina Temptation. So we should have you be that girl of the week next week and put your picture up. You want to you want to compete for the girl of the Why week? Why don't we put the two twins up and let them compete against each other? They look just alike. I mean, like it's they're not. Uh, we don't know their personality. Like so. two pictures of them not looking quite so alike. They they're they're identical twins. I know, but like we don't have one like with one in like a sexy. Well, I'm sure bikini. we do. I'm sure I can get those pictures, but I just think it's kind of I don't know. All you're, all you're seeing is what do you prefer to Marlene to look like a uh, sexy schoolgirl or sexy in a bikini? You know, uh, sexy so, schoolgirl. You want to you want to be a girl of the week next week and compete? Kind of. <laughs> Why don't we put up you in a picture of Natalie? You want to find out if your friend Natalie wants to be a girl of the week? Cause all we, you, do you know how this works? We put up two pictures and the people vote, and then the winner goes to the finals. And the finals, there's five hundred dollars cash. No way. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, talk to Natalie. Let's let's put you and Natalie up. Once we're done with Viv- Vivian and Tina, have you seen the the bar live dot com? Have you gone on there? You know, I tried getting on to my phone because I have an iPhone, but it wasn't. It didn't like let me pull up the it, videos. It will now, right, Jimmy? She has an iPhone. So it will it'll let you pull up now. Before, when you pulled it up, it went right, right to the radio show, correct? You start hearing us talk. But now, yeah. if you pull it up, you can actually hit the uh, Girl of the Week, and you can vote. So check out Vivian. Check out Tina. And uh, tell us which, make your little vote. Tell us which one you think is hotter. You you have any interest in girls at all, Marlena? No. Never? No, not really. I mean, you've kissed girls, obviously, right? Like one. One, well, just for drunk fun, being stupid? Yeah. Okay. Everyone does it. <laughs> yeah, is it something you ever want to just try one time just to see what it's like? 
Yeah. You probably will. What age do you think that'll happen? Yeah, I already did try it one time. Well, you got his kiss. I'm talking about a little bit beyond the word kissing. Oh, no, I wouldn't ever try that. You would never try it? You don't think you ever will? I'm not interested. It's weird, you know? No, it's not like weird. Like if you're not, board. yeah. If you're, it's not weird at all. If you're not, you're not into it. You're not into it. I just nowadays, like girls just do it just to be funny or just to try it or to be, you know, a little different to impress guys. But uh, I'm glad you're not caving into those temptations to impress dudes. Yeah. So good for you. What about your sister? Is she like that? No, she's totally opposite. She likes to have like one guy. Yeah, you're you know? you're the wild one, right? She's the calm one, correct? Well, it used to be opposite, but we've like switched. Yeah, now she's Mama Marla. That's her new name, Mama Marla. We've got Marlena Mischief and Marla Mama. That's what yeah. they're calling you guys. So, uh, okay, well, listen, we'll uh, we'll get talk to you next week. We'll see you Sunday at the uh, probably I think the back nine from three to six. Come get your uh, bike wash or car for that matter. All right, Marlena Mischief, we'll talk to you later. Okay, don't forget to All send right. me a picture of Natalie. Okay. Okay. All right, later, girl. Bye. Bye. All right, there it was, Marlena Mischief. Man, I want to pause, dude. I'm just so out of it this week, dude. I'm like. I'm sick, man. I can't get over this, man. I feel like I'm 60%. Like I feel like I'm walking around in a daze. Like yeah. every day, I feel like I got to give you an excuse when you walk in. Like, dude, I'm feeling kind of bad today. And I feel like you ever, ever been like just exhausted, drained, Jimmy. You, like you just feel weak. You wake up and you're just kind of like out of it. That's the way I've been feeling this week. I don't know what is going on or what's different. I will tell you, I went out and ran. They last say that that's uh, the feeling you get just before you get AIDS. Before you get what? AIDS. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? You'd be sad if I got AIDS. Of course I would. Yeah, that's that. But I did be. think that the, it was it was worth uh, the mental picture of you googling what the uh, signs that you may have AIDS are at three thirty. I get scared yeah. about this stuff, dude. You uh, say no. that, and I get freaked out. Does everybody get freaked out about things when are y'all yeah. paranoid? Like something happens, you're like, "What's that? What's that bump? Or what's that? Yeah. What's that feeling in my gut or something?" You know what I mean? Oh, dude, I, I get freaked out by it, man. You guys ever had AIDS checks before? Had what? I mean, is it required an AIDS check? Do you have? Yeah, to I've had them before. Jimmy, you ever had an AIDS check? Uh, well, I've had a STD check, which check. included that. Yeah. Right. If you walk in to get, here's something interesting. If you walk in to get your blood checked for, for just any, I don't know, like your your yearly uh, physical. If you don't put down check for AIDS, do they still check anyway? Would they would they still look and see if there's something wrong, and let you know? Do you know, Sam, if that's the case or not? If what? If look, I don't know when you, I don't know how this works, but. It, if you walk in and don't, you know, say I want an AIDS check when they're checking your blood out and stuff, will they still check anyway or let you know if you no, have it? No, I think when they do blood tests, they do it specifically. They write down like what to check for. Like if you're just doing a general blood test. Uh huh. But every time I've ever gotten for a checkup and that blood test, I'm like, yeah, just run a, an AIDS test. It should be fine, but just double check. You never know. You guys ever been scared about that though, or fearful that maybe you had something like that? Well, it's weird because when you call for your results. Or they call you, like I, I had, you know, I had a blood work up one time, and I was calling to get my results. Like a couple of days later, you know, the doctor like call us in a couple of days, so I call and the nurse go, I, you know, they have the results of my test, and the nurse goes, oh, um, we're gonna have to call you back later. The doctor's gonna have to call you back on this. So I started freaking out, like yeah. that I had something. So my doctor called me back. He's like, no, everything's fine. And I go, well, why couldn't the nurse tell me? She freaked me out. And he goes, oh, we have to, the doctor has to tell you. The nurse isn't allowed to do it. I was wow. like, you know, you freaked me out for like a few hours thinking that I had some deadly disease. But no, it's clean as a whistle. Wow. Well, it's, that is kind of sucks. I mean, if you don't, I guess here's the deal. If they could tell you when there's not a problem, if they don't tell you, then you know there is a problem. So that's why they, they got to be that way. Yeah. Makes sense? Because you're yeah. like, well, what, what's the harm in saying I don't have nothing, you're clean? Well, if that was the way they, did things and people would always be freaked out. You know what I mean? What they know without having a doctor to tell them specifically what's going on, they were like, "Okay, she wouldn't tell me I'm clean, so I must have it," and they'd be freaking the hell out, dude. And that's probably why they have that rule in place. You know what I mean? Right. And that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I remember the first time I was like twenty something, twenty five, and like girls moving to, to Las Vegas. Like, she's like, "Go get your age checked. Go get checked out. Make sure you're clean." You know? And I finally got around to doing it, and I was I was nervous, dude. You, know, you start thinking about every little thing about getting older, like, okay, I'm not as fast, I'm not as strong, I noticed weakness, I got sick one day. You start thinking about all these things in your head, like what you could have. And, um, you know, especially at that age when you're having lots of, you know, sex with different, lots of different girls, it'll freak you out a little bit, man. I mean, it becomes a, 
I don't know. I'm less fearful. Are, are we all less fearful of AIDS now, though, because of the people who are able to live forever on AIDS? Is that you guys? Are y'all feel that way too? Like, remember it was like a death sentence in in the '80s. If you got AIDS, it was a death sentence. Now, yeah, but if you don't now, if you don't have insurance or well, um, there's ways to get help to get on all the uh, the pills and the procedures to help keep you alive. Then you you kind of are screwed. You know, Arsenio Hall had a, someone die recently of AIDS. And uh, you, you remember that? He did. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. But you don't know how long they'd had it. They could have had it for 10, 15 years. I mean, Magic Johnson's lived forever. Yeah, it? but Magic Johnson can afford every treatment, every pill, everything out there to keep him alive. Right. Because when that disease first came out, there was really nothing that you could get. But now with, the, you know, with medicine and everything, they have all these pills and procedures and stuff that can help you fight it and possibly keep you alive a lot longer. Yeah, uh, well... It'll be my luck that I'll get something one day that not AIDS, but not sexually transmitted even. Maybe, who, whatever. But I'll get something, and uh, they'll invent the pill the day after I die, probably, that saves you from it. You know what I mean? That'll be just my yeah. luck. But um, anyway, what what do you think you're going to die from? Me? Natural uh, causes? or Yeah, or, natural causes. Old age. Uh, when people say they die of natural causes, if you're like 80 and you get cancer, is that still considered natural causes? or No, you would die of cancer. Die of, okay. Uh, Jimmy, are you going to live to be old? Uh, no, I assume that it's going to be <laughs> based on some type of bad decision I've made. <laughs> really? Uh, do, you, do you see it being a, a, a bad decision physically because we drop you off in the middle of Oklahoma in the middle of nowhere and you die from being lost for three days? Or do you think you're going to die from like internally like you ate bad or something? Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just going to be one of those random moments where I'm like, oh, shouldn't have done that. Should done that. Okay, I think, huh? I don't know. If, I don't know if you're considered a daredevil. I don't know if you'll die from like. I, don't know, I think you're gonna live. If we drop you off in the in the middle of nowhere. I think you might survive that. I think if you don't survive, we're getting a lot of trouble. I don't think we're getting trouble, Sam. If he dies out there when he's in that little voyage, no, we, we won't get in trouble. Doing it. No. What was the agreement? Was there some money put up for that? If we do, if we do that experiment, Jimmy, was there some kind of price tag for that? Uh, I think you were saying two grand. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was two grand. I'm not opposed to doing that still, by the way. It's not like it's left me. Mm -hmm. uh, I went running last night for the first time, and I when, on my run, I, I think it actually processed that it's getting hotter, and uh, I know you were worried about the heat. You didn't want to do it in the severe heat, and I was thinking my time on that might be – I might have to do it in the fall because it's I can't do it right away. It's going to get really hot in about 30 days, and so it might be something we have to do in like October, mm -hmm. September. Would you prefer uh, cold, like where it's 40 degrees at night, or – Heat where it's 90 degrees in the daytime. What would you prefer? Um, I prefer the cold. So where it gets down to 40 degrees at night, yeah. you cover up. All right, we'll have to. What well, now? We're probably we can't. We're not gonna give you a blanket or nothing. You'll have a coat, and that's probably all we can give you. So we have to go put leaves together and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. Well, uh, hopefully you don't die just for some stupid reason. Then hopefully there's a meaning behind your death, <laughs> and hopefully when you die, it, it affects people where they learn from it. Learn from your mistakes. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what I'll die from, man. Probably probably cancer or something like that. Uh, don't know, man. All right, man. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about anything going on this weekend for you guys. Uh, I don't know. It's Wednesday. What's today, Wednesday? Yeah. I don't know. It's too far away. I know. I'm just I'm I'm not feeling really good right now. I'm no, well, why don't we just say goodbye? And, yeah, you know. let's do that. Let's just let's say goodbye and call it a day, and we'll go get some uh, podcasts up and all that stuff. Go get some juice or something and, you know, feel better. All right, guys. Well, listen, uh, I am Sunbury Brandon. I'm out of here. Check us out tonight. We're going to be at, at uh, North Texas House of Motorcycles doing a free bikini bike wash from 7 to 10. Also, uh, DJ Scotty's going to be in the house, going to have some go-go dancing going on. So it's our first go-go dancing at a uh, bike shop. So that'll be kind of different. You're doing, where is it at again? Uh, uh, North Texas House of Motorcycles. Where is we that? It, we, over there off uh, Highway 10 and 820. And oh, Hearst. okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, 1505 like uh, West Hearst Boulevard. Yep. Uh, let's see tomorrow. Big Dave show tonight too, isn't it? Oh, that's right. It is Big Dave. Uh, I've got I've got a VIP party. You guys want to go to a VIP party before the Big Dave show tonight at like four o'clock? You guys down? I can't. I have a free drink. Oh, wait a minute. Free well, alcohol? Because I have to go to. A, I'm going to a Dallas film festival party tonight as well. Okay. Well, it's, this is from like four to six. Oh, okay. So free alcohol. The uh, the Coca Cola NASCAR racers. You know NASCAR this weekend, right? Where is it at? Uh, Speed Zone. The, oh, okay. Uh, free food. Free free drinks. Uh, Jimmy, you want to go? All right, um, and then uh, then we cruise back over here to the to the Costa, to the Sunbrew House for uh, 
the Big Dave show, uh, doing that tonight. So hey, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. If y'all are interested in going, y'all let me know. They, it's it's really cool. They they always have a nice spread, like really good food. And like I said, free alcohol, and you can ride go-karts for free and meet some of the NASCAR guys. I'm going to try to stop by over there. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Tomorrow we're going to be um, over at Motion Cycles over off of uh, Plano Parkway in 635. Going to come over to Motion Cycles. Uh, of course, another bikini bike watch with the Sunbury Girls. Friday, going to be at uh, Texas Motor Speedway for, I guess, NASCAR this weekend or whatever the big race going on is there. Saturday, going to be at the uh, Live Green Festival in downtown uh, Plano at the Shops of, Le- I say downtown, the Shops of Legacy. Uh, BMX stunt show, break dancers, all that kind of fun activities going on. Saturday, we'll also be at Texas Motor Speedway. Um, I'm going to forget some stuff. Sunday, back nine, we're going to have a, a three to six bikini bike wash and car wash. Three to six on Sunday at Tailgaters in Frisco. So we got lots of stuff going on, man. Lots of events. And I'm leaving a couple things out, but uh, just go to our website, sunbeer.com, for all that, man. So, guys, tune in tonight from, uh, what was it, 7 to 10, correct? 7 to 10 for the uh, Big Day Show. It might go a little bit longer, the Big Day Show. And uh, we'll see you next time, man. Talk to you later.